Hey folks, so what you're looking at is the result of my forklift failing and collapsing on the drum. This piece right here. So, I have to change it out, or I had to change it out, and that's what this series is going to be about. I'm going to start going into that, and we're going to start seeing how to take this off. And then of course, in my regular fashion, I go through or into the rabbit hole and... This was easy. This took me less than an hour. But the result was that I ultimately went and took off the spindle. So, yeah. Uh, I don't, yeah. If your machine runs good, you don't need to do any of this. But I changed out the bearings and some bushings and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm going to show you guys coming up now. If you find this helpful, please like it, subscribe and stay tuned for more. Okay, so I'm trying to get this, there's a, there's a tension spring in here. This side hole won't allow me to relieve the tension and this assembly goes all the way down into here. So I might have to cut the belt off. Either way, we got a new belt. So I'm gonna take this off and we'll be able to get see more in here and well more in there and be able to push the, the belt as far back as we can go i've already put this in the lowest speed possible so i'm gonna mount you up and get back to work It only moves so much, so but this can this can get left dangling on the chain. Um, when I remove the whole this, and then they get these screws out from the sides, then I can get this off and see how that chain can be transferred over to the new one. And this all looks good. This has got a little crease in it, but I won't worry myself with that. And I'm using a non-prying, I don't know if I'm even catching it, in, but yeah, it's just a good measure. Yeah, that did it. Okay. Let me put you in there so see what I did see that belt is now all the way pushed in so that should relieve a lot of tension off of the motor to get it out This is what it looks like without the motor on. And there's the gear belt. This is the, this belt actually looks really good. 
I don't know. Well, I'm gonna change it because, you know, I got a new one. But this looks good. One, two, three. Shift these three over and it'll help pop this off and there should be a bearing under here. And I have a new bearing for this. I don't know. I, when I got, when I was doing this, I asked um, HW Machinery. I'm like, I need a kit where I can remove the belt housing cover, which is what this top piece is, and everything that I should change under here in order to be good. And of course, doing other maintenance stuff is what I'm gonna do as well. But these are what they recommended. They made me up a kit and that's what I got. So let's take a look at the kit real quick. Comes with some bearings. Well, the housing, new cover, um, some bearings. I don't know what they're to yet. I'll figure that out. Um, 1542. So, yeah. And whatever this is for, it's emery cloth. I think I just bought this as a side thing. We'll put this over to the side. Um, but yeah, basically these and these sleeves paper. I'll figure that out when I get more of the guts out. So, let's move on.
this surface is scored a bit, but it's for the most part even. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. You see. It's about the whole thing. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know exactly what this means. Hopefully. Well, I, hopefully I figure it out beforehand. But if you look closely at where the drawbar is versus where this sleeve is, it's a little off-center. Maybe about a few millimeters. Maybe six it's it's out of center so this is not centered to here this i know is running pretty much through the whole thing so that's where it's supposed to be but this piece is a little i don't know uh maybe that view will help better but this is cocked this way some so i don't know this is where you press on to remove that top piece um, Let's look inside it. Ugh. So, that's what all that looks like. Looks like I need to remove this. Get some pliers. I gotta find those now. Um, are these loose? I guess not. But. <sighs> let's let's move on Okay guys, we're making progress. We're getting stuff off and figuring it out as we go. Uh, so this is the motor. It feels good. Don't hear anything. Some bearings in here. So that sounds good. Um, yeah, that's about it for that. I'm gonna take back off this screw and basically leave this alone. When I get to the point of rebuilding the head, then I'll I'll deal with that. So we have the old cover and the new cover. We have the bearing and this piece that was in here. And uh, these four bolts bolts on this. There's a worm gear, I believe, here. Let's see if we can see that. Okay. Uh, connected to a chain, which is why I can't position this properly. This is the new one, an H and W machine, or yeah, H and W machine. All the threads look good. Um, surface is clean. This is where the crack was, so my fault. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a. Please let me know in the comments if you know if there was a variation in years where they transitioned from this to this or this to this, um, I don't know. But that's what we got so far. All of these things I'm going to clean up before I actually put back on like this. After I take this off, which looks like it's just a cotter pin and there's a random washer underneath it. Um, I guess it's acting like a stop, but not the cotter pin did that. But um, 
Ironically, the belt looks good, <laughs> but I'm gonna change it. Let's go look on top. So, yeah. So here's the top of it, All right? This piece actually comes completely off. I don't know if I wanna remove that completely yet. This was the point I wanna to get to, but I think there's a bearing in here, All right? And I don't know if my little kit that uh, um, H&W gave me um, includes this bearing. So I don't wanna go too, too crazy. Looks like there's a key here, um, but yeah, yeah, let's not, let's not touch this yet. Let's just, this is the belt we, we, uh, we also figured we would change that's in our uh, kit. So this is the old belt, this is the new. So almost difficult to see a difference, right? So new, old. This video is getting kind of long. I don't know how much this interests everyone. I know that my channel is primarily about that. So, uh, just expanding into different areas. I like to restore old stuff. And a lot of times, old stuff like that Allison chamber, um, it doesn't have a lot of ability to get parts, but I know how to make stuff on machines like this or tell a machinist what I need. So why not learn it? Especially if I'm gonna expand into more old stuff, right? All right, just enough babbling. Let's, uh, now that you see what this looks like. Um, oh, I always forget things. There's a pin here, and I thought there was one other pin. Might be in, a, in that, the other piece. But this is pinned, so if you take off the one, two, three, four, four bolts, or four Allen key screws, you might still get some resistance. So rubber mallet is your friend. And if you're gonna pry, be careful. This is aluminum, this whole thing. It's very easy to damage this piece, especially with this overhang and creating a lever arm. I would suspect that you're going to end up cracking here if you try and pry too hard, especially since the pin's here. You know, I was trying to be very careful and it took me a little to get it off carefully and I didn't cause too much collateral. Um, the gears, they look good. Uh, this bear, this belt, I don't see any clear signs of damage. So I'm not gonna screw around with that too much. I am going to clean up all of, as much as I can in here. And this is gonna be a, uh, involved cleaning job and I don't think anyone wants to see that so when I get to something interesting I'll turn you back on